One of the features that we're most excited about in ProPresenter 4 is the way that we can actually interact with Bibles in ProPresenter 4. And uh, to demonstrate that, we're actually just going to click on the Bibles tab. And it's a very simple interface that this new Bibles window brings us. Um, in previous versions of ProPresenter, you actually had to choose the book and chapter and verse from a set of drop-down menus. Here it's far more simple. We can just start typing in a particular passage. So I'll just choose John 3.16. And when I hit enter, it's actually going to create the, the slides for this particular Bible passage based on the template that I have chosen over here on the right-hand side. So I can actually choose whatever template that I want to, and it will actually reformat the slides based on that template. And what's great about this is, is that when I'm using um, a template that actually has a text box that will not contain all the text for the given passage that I've typed in, it will automatically flow into additional slides. And I have all kinds of different options uh, with this regard as well. So I'm going to extend my, um, my passage a little bit. I'll go from 316 to 318. And by hitting enter, you see it's created all the slides from John 3.16 through 3.18. Now I have a number of different options with regards to the formatting even beyond the template. Um, I can choose to show the verse numbers on each individual slide, um, which the verse numbers are going to be shown in a superscript like the 16 here. And I can turn that on or off. I can choose to break on a new verse, which I have that on right now. If I don't have that on, then it's going to actually just flow this passage as uh, one long string of text, which is a great function. I can choose to put verse references um, on at the, the end of each individual slide. I can put the passage, John 3.16 to John 3.18, at the end of each slide. Uh, I can just put the passage remark at the end, or the passage notation at the end of the last slide or I can just choose to show no reference at all. So this is very powerful because it allows me, uh, if there's someone on the stage that is uh, preaching extemporaneously, I can very, very quickly pull up whatever uh, references or scripture references that they bring up on the fly and can click on them to make those, those slides live. So that's very powerful. If, however, you are, um, your, your speaker, your preacher is actually um, much like mine, which is uh, he likes to put breaks in uh, the individual slides. Uh, that is to say, he likes to show several words and speak those words or, or read those words and then give some context to the particular scripture reference. Um, then you can actually create a presentation with these. So I'm actually going to turn off the, the break on new verse. So this is our, our full reference here. And I'll actually go to verse 19. And then I'll create a presentation. By hitting this Create Presentation button, it's going to automatically create all the same slides that I see here within this Scripture window, but it's actually going to create a presentation with these slides. So when I close out of the, the Bible reference, I see these exact same slides, but these are now in the context of a regular presentation, which means I can actually go in and edit the slide if I want to. So for example, if, um, if it was predetermined that they're going to say, for God so loved the world, and then pause there, I could actually take and do edits to this. Uh, one of the, the great little edits uh, tricks of ProPresenter is if you hold down the Option key and you hit the Return button, everything that appears after the blinking cursor is going to be moved to a new slide. So I have, for God so loved the world, and then that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever and it moved it to a new slide. So I can do all kinds of different edits with this. Um, and then again, just click on them to make them live. But the great thing is, is that whenever I get to the last slide, uh, regardless of how much preparation you've actually done, it's entirely possible that your speaker is actually going to want to show whatever the next verse is. Well, we have enabled that ability, even in this saved presentation, we have a previous and next verse button. And by just simply clicking this next verse button, it's going to append John 3.20 to the end of my presentation so that I, without missing a beat, I can go ahead and click on the newly created John 3.20 slide, which again is created with the template that was chosen uh, originally with my, with my scripture reference. So Bibles are very, very powerful, both in their ability to, um, uh, in your ability to create standalone presentations from the Bible, as well as the ability to uh, dynamically just search uh, or, or bring up script references. Um, all the different Bibles that I have installed are shown in this little drop-down menu. 
In this case, I only have three, but there are over 60 available from the Renewed Vision website. If, I, if you'd like, I, you can actually choose the book um, and then the, the chapter this way. So by choosing Malachi 1, it's automatically going to choose the entire book of, or I'm sorry, the entire chapter of Malachi 1 and lay it out that way. So it's easy accessibility for that. And it's also, uh, our Bibles are completely searchable. So if I say, uh, do a search for Jesus wept, this will take just a second, but it comes up with John 11.35. And when I double click on that, it just creates, <laughs> in this case, that one slide. And I can add the previous verse or the next verse to that and click on those slides to make them live. And he said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So scripture verses and Bibles, working with Bibles in ProPresenter 4, very, very powerful new function. Again, the ability to use the templates and quickly format your, your individual slides and run it either on the fly or create individual presentations using these scriptures. Very powerful function.